<laughs> Mr. Sean P. Diddy Combs. I'm sure at this point you've already heard what's been going on with P. Diddy. If you haven't, um, you're in for a little ride here. A while ago, it was exposed that P. Diddy was in trouble for a lot of allegations regarding sexual uh, abuse, trafficking, drugs, guns, money, just everything you could possibly think of that you could get a lot of time for, he pretty much did. But up until recently, he was never actually fully seized for anything or arrested. But very recently, the feds finally seized his house and finally got enough evidence to arrest him. And truly, what they found is just more shocking than what anyone could have guessed and what anyone could have even made jokes about. They seized firearms and ammunition, including three defaced AR-15s and the large capacity drum magazine. They seized cases and cases of the kinds of personal lubricant and baby oil that Combs' staff allegedly used to stock hotel rooms. I'm not gonna lie, low-key, I don't give a fuck about the guns he had. I care about, first of all, the cases and cases of lubricant and the over thousand of bottles of baby oil. Can you even try and visualize in your head right now what a thousand bottles of baby oil looks like? Because I sure fucking can't. I don't think I've ever seen more than like one fucking thing of baby oil at a time because when the hell does anyone ever need that much baby oil? I guess like P. Diddy is literally the one exception for this because this man needed over a thousand. Holmes allegedly planned and controlled the sex performances, which he called freak offs, and he often electronically recorded them. The freak offs sometimes lasted days at a time, involved multiple commercial sex workers and often involved a variety of narcotics, such as ketamine, ecstasy, and GHB, which Combs distributed to the victims to keep them obedient and compliant. As alleged, when Combs didn't get his way, he was violent, and he subjected victims to physical, emotional, and verbal abuse so that they would participate in the freak-offs. They also seized evidence of the freak-offs, electronic devices that contain images and videos of the freak-offs with multiple victims. As if things couldn't get any crazier, this man hosted freak offs. You're telling me these things lasted days? This man was having a 48 hour freak off, dude. What the fuck does that even entail? Like sexual trafficking is one thing, but to sexually traffic someone and make them participate in freak offs, that is a different level of like villainy. D Diddy is like, past like Thanos level of villainy at this point. That is insane. Dude is like IRL Joker, except even Joker might show a bit more humanity than that. And as if the freak offs weren't already twisted enough, in the words of another freak R. Kelly, pause the video because what I'm about to say is so damn twisted. Not only did he have freak offs, but his mother fucking participated in them. <laughs> it, it, this is honestly horrible. I'm warning right now, I'm gonna show a really fucking bad, like, weird, awkward clip. If you don't want to see it, just fucking, like, literally skip like, 20 seconds, I think the clip, how long the clip is. Skip, like, 20 seconds, because it's not, it's a pretty fucking bad clip. Yeah, my mom's gorgeous. Well, let me introduce you to my mom, called Mom Dukes. Hi. She's getting a drip with me. She's hydrating. What's up, ma? Everything's good, baby. I'm here with you. Yeah. I love you. I love you, too. I'm sure there are many, many questions running through your brain right now, and I will try and answer uh, some of them, maybe. First of all, the first one you're probably thinking is, what the fuck? Um, I'm right with you, what the fuck? Second thing you're probably thinking is, that's really weird, I'm with you, that's really weird. Some of you might be thinking, okay, yeah, it's weird, he kissed his mom on the lips, how is that necessarily proof she participated in the freak offs? And I would say, that's a fair point. It is weird, but it's not necessarily proof in itself. However, the proof is in what he said and you can see on her nails. For one, he says that they are getting an IV drip together. Now, if you haven't looked into the case very much or anything, that might not seem like anything. However, when you look into the case, you'll see that those who participate in the freak offs have to get IV drips afterwards. It's what they do to like rehydrate themselves. And then on top of that, another part of the freak offs is that the women have to have white nails. And lo and behold, his mama has white nails. I, listen, I hope 
that it is not as it appears. But it, the evidence is just damning, especially since, thank the Lord, I couldn't find like the full clip from that live anywhere. However, he how he goes to the strip club with his mom and how she can put her palms on the floor. So it just all seems like P. Diddy is a different level of freak. I'm not even gonna hold you. If I was P. Diddy's lawyer, I'm low-key just quitting. There's no fucking universe you're getting this motherfucker free. It's a good thing, but there's just no chance. $50 million bail turned down. The freak offs. That's insane. That's how you know this motherfucker is kind of done for. $50 million could not get this man out of jail. That's how bad these freak offs were. Now, I feel like my earlier hypothesis might even be correct if they're going this hard on that motherfucker because he must have done literal crimes against humanity. P. Diddy's on suicide watch tonight. Do your sources confer uh, the same information? Or yeah, he is on suicide watch. This guy thought he would have went home. P. Diddy on suicide watch because of the freak offs is like one of the most outrageous situations to ever occur. That doesn't even sound like a real sentence, but that is something that's just actually happening right now. P. Diddy's on suicide watch because he's being arrested for freak offs. What? fucking timeline are we living in i feel like at some point the the new epstein didn't kill himself is about to be like did he didn't kill himself i honestly just end up fucking killing himself in prison honestly if he because i don't see him getting free anytime soon there's no way and even if he does get free he's done like he's gonna be an old ass man by the time he's out fucking he's not gonna be able to rap anymore no one's gonna listen to that shit so like what is there for Diddy after this, other than jail time and suffering? Which is deserved, but like, my god, this is like the biggest turn of events ever. However, that's really all I have to say for the coverage of Diddy, because that's really all there is to it as of right now, because due to the fact that prosecution hasn't started and whatnot. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.